Bye, Meg. Guys, I finally clicked go live. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized I spelled right wrong in my go live tweet. Dude. I can see that. Well, I can also click end stream. <laughs> nah, I've been in a lot of pain the past few days. I've just been like in bed. But I, I feel okay today. I did schedule more appointments with my doctors today. I was like, I'm gonna be an adult. I'm gonna go to the doctor. Starfield is mad fun. <clears throat> I've heard mixed things. Also, it has pronouns! <laughs> Sorry, the, the clip was hilarious. <laughs> Wait, I have to check if the audio synced. It synced. Um... You might have seen that I have overcooked. I did buy it. And the single player mode is impossible. And it's barely playable with like two people. You need another person? Dude, I bought the game thinking I could like grind it solo just to practice it. But to play single player, you have to switch chefs manually. Like, there's no computers, which is dumb. It's actually DOM. So I have to, like, walk up to my sister and be like, Hey, can you play with me? So we've been playing, like, every night since I got it. Guys, face came on in 10 seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. Yep, I'm live. Good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. I'm early. It is 10.57. I actually clicked go live today. Let's go, finally. Um, Thank you, Mac, for chatting in the just starting soon screen. Thank you. Guys, this Friday, who's gonna go partying? Not me. Also, I'm wearing one of the tops I got a few weeks ago. It's a bit tight. Ignore it. We're just gonna say it's swimming fitting. But, like, look at the- wait, I need to figure out which arm is which. This arm. The sleeves go crazy. And then it has, like, 
a bow. I don't know how to tie the bow. It looks kind of silly. Anyway. That's what I'm wearing today. You can't really see the sleeves. Like, you know, I don't have a full body cam. We ain't gonna do that shit. But yeah, that's the fit for today. It's your day off today? Let's go! You know what's nice about not having a job? Every day is technically my day off. It's pretty sick. But it does get kind of boring. <laughs> okay, everybody. Before we get started with the classic Mario Kart stream making a comeback to the channel, I have a new YouTube video up. I mean, it's technically almost a week old, but I haven't been able to plug it much. It is, it's okay to be single. Go click the link, go subscribe, go like it, go leave a comment. New video will be tomorrow at 9 a.m. I think I've done weekly uploads for, this will be the third week in a row, actually doing it. I think next week is going to be the pancake video. It's going to be a long one. So I'm working on that. Okay, any updates? Not really. I can't really think of anything. Dude. <laughs> My sister's home. She still hasn't had a job yet. She had an interview last week with... I guess I can say the place. It was Bill the Bear. <laughs> this, this was the place where she said my biggest accomplishment was decorating a cake. Oh my god. So she did not get the job, obviously. <laughs> so I'm gonna practice more with her tonight after a stream. So that's why I'm not doing long stream today. I was gonna do a um a nine to five stream today, but my sister was like, Hey, can you help me with my interview questions? Because she can't hear me, she's downstairs. She's not good. <laughs> she's not good at answering the questions. Like she sounds D-U-M when she answers and she she's always had issues with like reading comprehension so like half the time she doesn't know what the question is asking which is whatever but I feel bad so I, I'm gonna help her later I'm gonna be a good sister <laughs> anyway so I've been helping her more I, I was resting mostly this week I don't know why I've just been more tired so I scheduled more appointments with my doctors That'll be like next month and the next month after, so. I don't know, we'll see. Anything else? Oh wait, it's September! Guys, it's September, I forgot. <laughs> Hi, Go Bobo, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Guys, it is September. So, all new tier 1 subs, multi-month recurring subs, and tier upgrades are up to 25% off. During the month of September, and during the last week of September, gifted subs will be discounted. So, Oilers, you can wait. Wait till the last week and you can save a buck or two. I also will be doing a subathon on the last week of September. I have a very special thing planned. So, Oilers, wait till the last week. Hopefully the stream is longer than 20 minutes. Shut up. Shut up. Just because the last two streams I did were short doesn't mean that's going to be the new normal, okay? I'm just too cracked. That's the only reason why that stream was like 30 minutes long. I also have a good handful of topics today. Because we haven't played Mario Kart in forever. What else? What else? Oh, last update. Um, I did say this last stream on Tuesday. But... Cokes was the top clipper of August, so Cokes got a gift card and VIP in chat. So guys, if you yourself want a chance of VIP and a gift card for September, make sure you're clipping the streams. Because Twitch is also pushing more Twitch clips on the actual platform. So guys, clip the stream, title it something funny, and maybe you'll get a prize. Maybe it'll happen. <clears throat> okay, enough stalling. Let's play some freaking Mario Kart. You guys know the drill. Ask me questions. Make me lose. Will we get a bonus if we reach a sub goal for the subathon? Well, what do you guys want? <laughs> like, what is it that you guys are bargaining? Um, pink is Barbie movie.
Damn, there's only two more prees left. Oh no. I'm gonna be so sad when the DLC is over. <clears throat> what if I may- okay. We'll talk about this another time. But how many subs would it have to take to make a Discord? I jokingly said a million in my about section, but I think like... 500 is reasonable. Not like now, I mean like long term, in like two years or some shit. I don't know. I also, I think I've forgotten how to play Mario Kart. Oh wait, okay, so you guys know how I got a new left Joy-Con like a month ago? I think it's already broken. Oh, why do I have all the accelerate off? What oh, is on? What? Smart steering off. This just seems super slow. Oh, it's because I, I was holding B, not A. <laughs> I'm so silly. Okay, anyway, because I was playing Overcooked with my sister last night, and the, my button stopped working, and the joystick was, like, drifting again. And it's like, no way! Okay, I legit... Is my acceleration on? Oh, no! Okay. My B button isn't working. Er okay, okay, okay. Oh, no. Look, I'm not pressing anything. Oh, no. I think... <laughs> Also, my right controller was sticky, too. Oh, no. I mean, I have my pro controller. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, I'm not... How do, how do I even reverse? Clean them? You think I'm greasy? I'm not. I'm gonna try use my pro controller. Ain't no way my controller is also busted. Sad day. Okay, I'm gonna try with my pro controller. Because it appears that the right Joy-Con is busted. Dude, I should have just bought a new set. But it, aren't there rumors of like a Switch 2 coming out soon? So what's the point of buying new ones? I also would like to clarify, I'm not rough with my controllers. Like, I'm pretty... I'm nice to them, I treat them kindly. The only time I get kind of rough with them is when I use, like, the joysticks. You know, I really... I really grip them. <laughs> I imagine the new Switch would still use Joy-Cons. Okay. I understand that that'd be cool and all. That way you don't gotta buy new controllers. But it's like... Just give me something new. Like, I don't want to- Like, when they announced the OLED, I was so disappointed. I was like, bruh. Like, just give me something new. I don't want to keep saying the same old shit. Did they change? Oh, wait. Auto accelerate is now on. Okay, tilt control's off. Off. Okay. Maybe I'm just pressing silly little buttons. <laughs> Oh, it feels so weird using a pro controller. I'm so used to the Joy-Cons now. It's like way too big. I have little hands. I do need to get a DS at some point. Everybody keeps like glazing it up. The only time I played a DS was when I had to go over to my friend's house and I would play like Cooking Mama. Wait, 
secret path? Oh, damn it. <laughs> I was trying to get through, like, a secret shortcut. Three DS streams? I was thinking about that. That is possible. But the oh shit. But I think in order to catch your um 3DS content, you have to have it like connected to the actual computer. So it's not like I could sit on my couch and stream. Oh wait, what the fuck? What? <laughs> okay, usually whenever I get hit with a red and then I'm holding a bomb, I just get blasted. But how how did that protect me? That's not how it's supposed to go. Path? Yeah, you could probably mod the device. But doesn't Nintendo hate when you mod? I don't want to get cancelled. Remember when Nintendo was trying to like DMCA every single like Nintendo YouTuber? You know, I can't afford that right now. Because right now, whenever we I do the phone streams, it's like a Bluetooth casting software. <laughs> they don't care about the 3ds anymore. I have mine hacked guys get them feds get them Don't most streamers Emily Shh, don't that's a secret Don't leak They're playing the real game obviously <laughs> You can buy 3ds with a capture card built in but it's pricey my budget is a million dollars. <laughs> He's since emulating Mario Kart 8. No, I, dude, I literally have the Switch. It's, it's mine. I would never emulate Nintendo or Twitch. I do think the reason why emulating is like kind of like you should not admit to it is because it's kind of like pirating in a way. So that's why you- it's like an unwritten rule to just not- To allude to it but never say that you're emulating. Now I have never emulated a game myself. I'm too scared. I'm like scared of the day where I try to download something and then it's like a virus. Cause I've only had one time where my device, it didn't get hacked, but I had like a really bad cookie on it. One thing I would recommend that everybody do is if you're at whatever internet browser, I use Chrome, is go into your cookie settings and sort it by data stored. Usually if there's a cookie that has like over a gigabyte of data saved on your computer, then that's most likely a, a bug. <laughs> like delete that one, please. Because I had a bug that was like two gigabytes downloaded on my computer and I was like, what the fuck? And I noticed that after I deleted it, because for like a month, for some reason randomly, like, my whole computer was lagging. But apparently that bug was like tracking my like, search information. So once I deleted it, my computer stopped lagging. It was weird because like literally everything was lagging, like Premiere, Photoshop, and my browser. But once I got rid of that one cookie, it fixed everything. But then again, everybody admits to watching TV shows and movies for free online. You know, I will never admit to it, but when you're like a brokey, like 14, you can't get a job, like what else are you gonna do? Like, are you really gonna ask your mom to borrow a credit card to like watch anime? She's gonna be like, no, that's cringe. So you have to find some other way to watch it by taking your friend's login, not going to websites. <laughs> I know once I was old enough and I had a job, I stopped watching um, movies online or like ripped uploads because in my head, yes, it kind of sucks to have to pay to rent a movie or like pay, get a monthly subscription just to watch one movie, but I still feel bad for like the people who created the media. I'm like, I feel like they should get that extra like two cents royalty. So now, I mean, I'm not working now, <laughs> but... 
Um, I always try my best to rent it or buy it myself. But also another good resource is your local library has a lot of movies that you can like borrow, like DVDs and stuff. CDs too. Oh, who even uses CDs anymore, honestly? Most newer movies have watermarks on them? Really? I've never seen a watermark on a streaming service. That is so weird to me. And... Okay, back when I was younger, like, during my Tumblr days, I really wanted to start, like, a fan blog. And I feel like everybody was super into Supernatural on Tumblr, which I became one of the Supernatural girlies. And I remember I would wa- That was dumb. I would watch the show, like, on my computer, and I would try to, like, screen cap or take screenshots so, like, I could upload, like, GIFs and shit. But it wouldn't let me, and I got so mad. But... On certain devices, you're able to, like, screenshot. I'm not gonna say which devices, but... It is possible. It's always, like, the sketchy streaming services? Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Am I gonna get a three star? Ain't no way. This, I think, is still the wackiest track in the whole game. Bathroom sound. <laughs> you, I think it'd be hilarious. All the little kids would love it. Like Mario Kart bathroom trap remix would go crazy. Don't tell me I'm wrong. Played in two weeks. I can't lose my lead like this. This track actually, I hate it. Come on. I'll take it. I'm still getting used to the pro controller again. I've gotten three stars in this track before, though. <clears throat> Damn, to think like one throw knocks you down from a three to a one star. That's so bad. I'll 
do one more computer pre. I thought I had three stars already. Dude, I could have gotten it. Shit. I mean, shoot. I literally don't have any part of this track memorized. <laughs> Since I've been having to do more errands in general, I've been riding the bus a lot more. And something that I still find like amazing <laughs> is some people on the bus just don't care like they don't give a fuck about the people around them like there was this one guy he had a bag of groceries he flopped down in his seat he looked like he was maybe like 50 years old bald white guy so he's just like doing his own shit on the bus he he opens his carton of milk chugs from it he also like takes off his baseball cap he gets out cotton swabs and a bottle of witch hazel and starts rubbing his forehead with a witch hazel. And he's just do like doing whack ass shit on the bus. <laughs> and nobody can say anything because it's like what he's doing isn't like bad, but it's just weird. And I was just staring at him in awe. I was like, this guy has no shame. <laughs> I'm trying to think, like, what's the craziest thing that I've done on a buzz? I usually just keep to myself. Okay, the only kind of bad thing that I do on the bus is that... Because our buses are, like, two seats, and then the center aisle, two seats. So, so I sit on, like, the outer seat, like, the aisle seat. So sometimes, like, my arm hangs out. I don't stick it out on purpose. I'm just... I have very broad shoulders. So sometimes when people, like, walk past me, like, I clip them. Not on purpose. Because you know if you sit on the window seat, somebody's gonna sit next to you. But there was this guy, he had like a small bottle of cologne, and he just kept spraying it. Like, not on him, he just kept spraying it in the air. And he was like mumbling to himself, he's like, oh, it fucking stinks in here. And he just kept spraying his cologne. Like, he was spraying it like continuously for like a minute straight. And I'm like, what are you doing? Was it Axe? No, it was like some unnamed clear bottle. It wasn't a kid, <laughs> it was like an adult. Dude, this bob is bigger than Toadette's head. Holy moly. Another thing is, like, I feel like most people thank the bus driver whenever they walk off. Do you think the bus driver cares? <laughs> Because I kind of have the I Okay, I still say thank you when I walk off the bus. But I'm like, does that like make or break the driver's day? I feel like it's more annoying. Because I can imagine it's probably really frustrating when people are like talking on the bus as you're like driving.
But then, like, if I see somebody, like, not thank the driver, I'm like, oh, that guy's an asshole. At least it was fancy cologne. I don't know, it fucking stank. Like, it smelled like ass. But it wasn't ass. I do feel like a lot of men's branded scents don't smell good. Because I want my friend to the mall and <laughs> he wanted to go to Bed Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Which is like the most like girly store. But I hate that store and he really wanted to go. And mind you, this one friend is like like really mad, like really burly, okay? He's like, I wanna get some more shampoo. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> and like in the store, there's like such a small men's section. And they all fucking smell bad. Like, they all smell like super chemically. Like, I know whenever I get like lotions, I don't wear perfume. I usually just put lotion on. I usually gravitate towards more fruity, because that to me is like more like real. I don't like the ones with the scent of like, ooh, musky wood. It just smells fake. And it took him, I'm not even kidding, like 20 minutes to like figure out what scent he wanted oh my god i was getting i didn't say anything of course but i was getting so annoyed like a worker walked up to us twice they were like oh do you need some help <laughs> we're like no he's just really fucking picky i think the only like men's product i okay there was not even a notification for that blue shell i think the only <laughs> the only men's product I use- Okay, men's razors are so much better than women's. Women's razors are an actual scam. Like, the blades typically aren't, like, sharp enough either. I use, like, Old Spice, like, body wash. I don't use the shampoo or anything. I use a, a higher-end shampoo because I have girly hair. I wish there was more gender-neutral scents. I agree. That's why, like- Mm. What what would be a good gender neutral scent though? I feel like vanilla could go either way. But I do feel like fruit is kind of still a little bit femme. Oh, you know what? Which one I really like? I really like Old Spice's Fiji. That's my go-to. Oh, okay, I do use their deodorant. <laughs> Second. <laughs> Guys, I'm sad. But you know what won't make me sad? If you follow the channel. Because everybody, we are 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, follow. You get cool emotes and the ability to dive in chat. God, fuck this track. I don't wear any perfume. I just mix my lotion with water. And I treat it like perfume. <laughs> but it's the Bed Bath & Body Works, um... Winter apple candy spice or some shit. It's very fruity. I did Okay, I didn't realize how fun this track was at the start. that this track is way too dark too many browns okay that was a mistake <laughs> oh the lens flare on the moon can't see it anymore but that was a while i need to play more often 
It's usually because whenever I play Switch games online, I prefer handheld because it's like more cozy to play in my bed. And whenever I play on the TV, I have to like unhook my capture cards or I gotta turn my computer on. And I literally can't play Mario Kart in handheld mode. It's so difficult for me. I think it's because the console itself, even though it's lightweight, it's a lot for me to like hold sometimes. Like it's a bit too heavy. bought a bunch of games that were on sale because usually on the switch store I'll wish list a handful and whenever they're on sale I'll buy them so I bought like <laughs> like $50 worth the other day because I definitely I want to play like an RPG online or offline sorry they always be having sales. Exactly. That's why, like, I can never justify buying an online game at full price. I'd rather just wait. Because I already have so many things to play. Starfield? I don't know. Starfield is not my type of game. Also, it has pronouns! <laughs> Let's do online. <laughs> Damn, I'm still at 7,000 rank. Okay, I don't- I don't like how my car is red and Yoshi's red. I'm in. You guys know the drill. We're gonna gamba. Do you guys think I will get a first place by 12 p.m.? I have 30 minutes. Do you guys think I'll get first place? Last time we did this challenge, I got first place on the first race. Will I play the new Mario RPG game? Yes, of course. I don't know. I think I'll play like... Oh my fucking god. I'll play like a little bit on stream, but I feel like that is a game I'd want to play offline. That I want to enjoy. But I will for sure get it. Why am I drifting the wrong way? <laughs> I love Mario Kart. My last place. This can't be real. Oh my god. Yes, I have not played the Mario RPG game ever. That's why I'm really excited. I can catch up, surely. The only games that I <laughs> might have played when I was younger was most likely Wii games. Because that was the only other console I had. Guys, I'm gonna get first. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, wait. Hold. Hold. Wait, I see a blue shell. Shell, you're in second place. Just throw it. There's such a little bitch. That was like 
like a decent comeback though. I was in last and then I got fifth. I could have gotten third. Oh my god, is that Sonic bottom left? Have I ever played Smash? Yes. With your mom. <laughs> nah, my sister was really into Smash Ultimate. And she would bring her Switch to school every day and play during lunch. But I never could get into it. Oh, I'm the only American player right now. I think it's because it required a lot of, like, finite button inputs, so I could just never truly really enjoy it. That's not what I like. I like more casual gameplay. <laughs> oh my god. This is what happens when you stop grinding. see signs for missing pets all over town and they're always like ten dollar reward a hundred dollar reward i dead ass saw a missing dog sign and it said reward a thousand dollars now i do get kind of sad thinking about like the pets never being found but then i also think of the scenario of like imagine like a little five-year-old kid finds the dog they bring it to the owner and they're like, oh, that's great! And then they're like, where's my hundred dollars? Like, do you think that person will, like, actually pay up? I think it's similar to, like, when the police are like, oh, we'll give you a thousand dollar reward if you tell us information about this criminal. I feel like it's scam. I feel like they won't actually pay up. Because let's be honest, if it's, like, an adult that finds the pet, they probably won't expect a reward. But what if it's like some little greedy kid who's like, that's gonna pay for like 200 games that I can play. That thousand dollar reward. I think my main point is like, just don't offer a reward if you have a missing kid. Or a missing kid, I'm a missing pet. <laughs> totally different. <laughs> They def won't pay up. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I hate all these drags. <laughs> oh. You know, I'm so scatterbrained all the time. I have noticed that since I started reading, I do feel smarter. So guys, go back to school. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'm gonna get first. I'm gonna do it. think of whenever I play this track is when I messed up in the tournament. That first skip. I get flashbacks. I think I'm like decent at Mario Kart. I'm obviously not a sweat. I'm not a pro. I don't know any of the cool drifting techniques. So I'm the type of player where if I mess up once it ruins my whole placement. Like there's no coming back. Even with items, it's difficult. That's why, like, I think it's kind of silly 
that I decided out of all the games I play for stream, I make Mario Kart my story time ones. Because this game, I, I think, out of everything, requires the most concentration. But you know what? I also think it's kind of fun. Because Mario Kart is definitely one of the more forgiving ones. That tournament was brutal? Dude, I felt so bad for my teammates because... <laughs> um, Dreams invited me. Because... <laughs> I don't know why. I'm I don't market myself as a pro player. I'm just a casual enjoyer. I remember Dreams initially found my content on YouTube. Because he it was the Mario Kart Challenge Wheel highlight of it and he liked the concept. Oh I should have gone for the skip. I'm so D U M. You know, I think I was I was there to make everybody else look good and I don't mind it. There's always gotta be an underdog. I think what could be cool for Mario Kart Online is if you could, like, choose what CC you race at. Like, if I could only race at 200cc ranked online, dude, I would be crushing. I love 200cc. But since I can't get my rank up, I'm stuck at 150cc lobbies. You know, I can't thrive in this environment. I don't know why you can't pick- I know, it's so dumb. It's also like when you first start out ranked, you're stuck in like 50 CC lobbies. And it's so like, brutal. I think the only other like solution to that would be um... Like making like smaller tournament lobbies that people can join. But that's like too much effort. I want to log into Mario Kart, play 200cc, and veg out. I also don't have enough friends to play tournaments. There's two Felipe's on screen. <laughs> Only lab two with this. I think this Deadass feels like 100 CC. It's so slow. Dude, imagine I had this lobby lineup when I tried the challenge last week. <laughs> Dude, I still cannot get over how hilarious that was. What's my favorite meal to cook? Ooh, okay. I'm a sucker for anything that goes in a pot and you let it boil. You know, I love lazy cooking. I do think the favorite meal I've ever made is it's called hamburger mac it's where you boil the macaroni noodles in chicken broth and crushed tomatoes and it's super easy it's like one of those one pot 
pasta recipes you can find online. I'm actually gonna make it tomorrow. <laughs> I make it every other week at this point. But I also mix in shredded squash and other vegetables, beef, cheese. It's really good. It tastes just like Hamburger Helper. But I think the, my favorite ever like full entree I've made was, I forgot what it's called, but you essentially just bake um, steaks in the oven for like two, three hours. That way it almost becomes like the texture of cold pork. And then you also bake um, diced tomatoes on top of it. I cannot remember what it's called, but it's really good. But I also can't make it too often because, like, my sister and my other roommate didn't like it that much. I was the only one who liked it. So, it's kind of hard for me to justify buying a steak just for me, you know? Maybe for my birthday I'll make it again. Wait, did I get third? I think I got third. I think Snowland is my best track. When it comes to meal prep, I usually will buy um, vegetables and pre-cut them or pre-shed them and put them in the freezer into portion-sized bags, like, you know, the snack bags. That way, for whatever recipe I need, I can just defrost or microwave it and then toss it in. Because like doing all the veggie prep, like all the chopping and stuff, along with the other prep needed for any meal is kind of a lot. So whenever I do my weekly grocery shopping, I just buy like all the veggies that day and then do all the veggie prep that day and freeze it. Oof, there's two people with a thousand rank. Nobody must be playing right now. What's going on? It's Friday. Today's the perfect day for Mario Kart. Uh, everybody's probably playing Starfield, huh? People are back in school, yeah. Okay, I was at the bus station yesterday with my sister. And my sister and I, we look young, like, I do feel like we look like teenagers, but, like, we don't look super young, okay? I would do <laughs> okay. So, one of the bus drivers, he walks up to us, and he's like, You guys back in school yet? And I'm like, no, we're not kids. <laughs> and he's like, oh, okay, and then he, like, walked along. Because he was like, oh yeah, there was, the buses were really empty today. Like, I thought, I don't have more kids. And I, I turned to my sister, I'm like, how old do I look? And she's like, 30. <laughs> like, super deadpan. Because my sister, she looks like she's 16, but she's... She's 22, yeah, she's 22. Damn, she's gonna be 23 this year, holy shit. Wait a minute, third? Holy... Moly. Because, like, I definitely think I look young. I, I don't think I look 24, though. I definitely think I look younger than 24. Guys, be honest. How old do I look? Be honest. Oh my god, hi, Kimari! Welcome in! Can we get some yo's? Hi, hon. Dude, this is so slow! Give me 200 CC, please. Okay, this this race is over. <laughs> oh my god. Give me Bullet Bill, please, please. Eight months, oh Dios mio. <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Kimari. Tier 1, let's go! <laughs> oh Dios mio. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can we get some wee Maris in chat? Thank you. <laughs> oh, you never something that I don't think about is like you know how um I always for I have such like an American brain sometimes where I forget that like other countries use like devices. Like I remember where was it? 
it was when I went to my Japan trip, like, one of our tour guides, like, obviously had a phone. And seeing, like, the, the Japanese keyboard is so weird to me. Like, on your keyboards, Kimari, do they have, like, keys where it has, like, the I with the... What, the dash and, like, the tilde letters? Like, I want to see them. Because we don't got any special characters on our keyboards. I remember my Spanish teacher in high school, like, he had his, his work computer fully in, like, Spanish. And it was cool, like, seeing the keyboard layout. I mean, granted, most of the characters are similar, but there was, like, a separate keyboard for, like, the exclamation points and question marks, the tilde letters. It was cool. So the keyboard is similar? Okay. I mean, I feel like a mobile keyboard would be much more condensed like a traditional keyboard, right? Dude, I want to travel more, though. Guys, when I get my YouTube money, I'm just going to be traveling. Travel vlog arc will start then. Wait, I'm in third? Hold second, guys. places to visit that is my list one of my like my long-term travel goals is obviously Japan you know I'm a I'm not a weeb but you know I like it I definitely want to go to Greece Spain easy I keep on telling my sister because she wants to plan a Japan trip for she and I in like 2025 or 26 because hopefully I'll have money then in some capacity. Fuck this guy! Oh my god! Oh! This guy is scream sniping. Who is it? Guys, who is it? Which one of you fuckers is it? But she keeps on asking me, she's like, where do you want to go? I'm like, I don't know, I've never been to Japan. I don't know what cities are good. Because my sister has gone one time and she's planning another trip for next year. Because she, she, I want to go on the trips with her because she would help pay for my share, obviously. But like, a big concern that I have is, you know how in the States there's like, laws and regulation that make it like, illegal? to not accommodate disabled people, like, have, like, accessible entries and shit. That's not commonplace in a lot of other foreign countries, so it's like... Even if I had, like, a wheelchair or something, it's like... I still wouldn't be able to access some areas. How did I fall off to ninth place? I have nine minutes. You know who does not have time? The non-subs, because everybody, we are an hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You're going to want that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Also, it is September, so all new tier 1 subs and multi-month recurring subs are up to 25% off today. Guys, click subscribe, take advantage of those discounts, or see if you have a Prime sub available. I miss playing Mario Kart. <laughs> I think I still think Mario Kart is like my favorite game of all time. Oh, finally more American people in my lobby. Jeez. I don't need more sweats.
Okay, perfect boost. Maybe this is my attempt. You know the drill, if I get first, Chat gets a sub. I'm not even getting. I don't know what that sound was. It was like a mix between fuck and then. trying I still think this is like the worst we borrowed stop <laughs> Wait, I forgot. When you rank bad, your <laughs> when you place bad, your rank goes down. I think I'm gonna be stuck at 7k for forever. When I first started streaming back like two years ago, I think my rank was like 5,000. I think. I'll do it. I'll get it first today, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. I do want to go back and, like, categorize all my old streams. Like, I want to make a Google Doc that has links to all the VODs and then any edits I make. I'm not- I, I don't think I'm gonna have time this week. Maybe next week. Something that, like, I didn't realize would be so impactful on me back when I initially stopped working, like, when I quit Subway. Like, not having structure makes the time goes go by so much quicker. Like, whether it be, like, you're on summer vacation or if you're taking a break from work, you have to still have some form of schedule throughout your day. This feels a bit faster. I'm liking this. That, like I do curse a lot like when I'm talking to people friends or on stream but if I'm like by myself I don't curse like audibly and I I also notice that I don't curse in my head like if I drop something like let's say in the kitchen and I'm by myself I don't curse 
and I don't say like, oh shit in my head. I think <laughs> I only curse in front of other people and I don't know why that is. I think it's primarily because I think cursing is funny. So I just assume other people will find it funny. If I'm like angry, I will not curse. Like if something bad happens, I will not curse because I feel like that only adds more negativity to the situation. Stop! Come on! Oh my god. That would have been a near perfect line. No items. I love Mario Kart. Would you curse if you're in pain? Yes, I think so. There's a message! But cursing when I'm in pain does not like make me feel better. I know for some people it kind of helps with that like um i guess restlessness or anxiety you kind of feel briefly when you're hurt but for me it doesn't really help i can't believe i got less Mods, change the title. Worst gameplay on Twitch. <laughs> Wait, shit. I'm actually gonna make that that title. <laughs> Let's not lie anymore, guys. I would never lie. <laughs> I hate lying. not the type of person to lie. The only times that I will lie is if it's something that is kind of harmless. Like if it's to like kind of boost someone's confidence in that moment. But if I know that it's something that will leave an impact then I won't lie. And I think it also depends on the moment. Like if somebody is seeking criticism then I feel like it's fair to be honest. But, you know, if somebody is just wanting positive feedback in that moment, then I won't be honest. I also don't think I'd ever lie about feelings, like... Like, liking someone, or being friendly towards someone. Like, if I don't enjoy spending time with you, I won't outright say it. But you can kind of tell when I don't put full effort in. And there's multiple reasons why I do that. It's mainly because, like, I've had my time wasted or I just don't have, like, the social battery to engage with people all the time. Wait, I'm first? Hold. Hold. In the boombox? Wait. There was no way I could have seen that coming. Okay, I was trying to clap him. <laughs> that was so dumb. Oh my god. And obviously, like, if I had to hold a lie to protect someone or something, then I would hold that lie. Like, obviously, there's some things that I can't share on stream. You know, that I don't want to D.O.X. myself. So obviously, in some instances, I just would have to, like, hide the truth, you could say. But I very rarely lie in, like, a personal setting. Mm. 
because I do understand the importance of like having one interaction can ruin your rogue reputation. And, you know, I don't want to do that. Stay away from me, Bozo! Fuck! Oh my god! No! One of the red shells hit the- oh. You have one of the- Oh. I could've- Damn it, if I would've like waited until I was a bit closer to the gun first. Ah, uh, that could have been doable. It is 12.04 though, guys. Did I get first by 12? No, I did not. But... I can maybe do it. I'm sorry, believers. I'm sorry. I got pretty close, though. New prediction. Do you think I will get first by 12.30? So in 25 minutes, guys, go Gamba. Do you think I can do it? I think I can. I got pretty close. Nothing even hit it. If the Switch 2 comes out and online isn't fixed, I'm gonna be so mad. You know, everybody will keep glazing up Nintendo, will keep buying their shit just because we love the IP. Just please make the actual online better. Like, I don't want to see people clipping all the time. Oh my god. You would think they have so much money! Why can't they just make good shit? Let's try the strat. Did it work? Wait, it did. Holy. Yeah, first is so far ahead, though. Xbox and PlayStation are so much better hardware wise, but I love Nintendo. Yeah, it's because we love the IP. We love our little Mario games. Okay, not gonna lie. After seeing the Mario Wonder trailer, it looks so good. I cannot wait until October. I still can't believe that we're getting two Mario games in one year, though. I just looked at my title. Worst gameplay on Twitch. <laughs> I want the Peach game. What is the game exactly? I feel like after seeing the trailer, I think it's going to be similar to the Yoshi's Crafted World. I know y'all were ragging on me last time, but give me like a Peach baking sim. It would be so cute. And it would make sense because Peach makes cakes all the time.
I think it would be adorable. They haven't revealed much about the game other than Peach. I thought the trailer showed like a little bit. Maybe I was just like imagining it. How have we not had a Mario anime yet? We need that in our life. I think after this race I want to change my character. Shoot it out! Oh my god. Guys, been first clip. I'm not one to believe in fate. Like, I don't think everything is predestined. But I do kind of believe in karma. I believe in it in the sense of that the people you surround yourself with are very important and then those people that you surround yourself with do impact your day to day. And I do think if you're good to other people then hopefully other people will be good to back. I don't think that necessarily means that like strangers will be good to you. Because I do feel like the people who believe in fate like hardcore believe that they have no power in their situation. Like, there is some semblance of, like... What's the word? Not self-motivation. Well, it's not morale, but... Uh, I was gonna say manifest destiny, but no, that's what I'm reading my little textbook. Vigor... I cannot remember the word for it. Anyway, where was I going with that? <laughs> Fate isn't real, guys. You heard it here first. Wait! Hold! Hold! Guys, everybody, shut up. Fuck all of y'all. Let's go. First place, easy. Will I get first by twelve thirty? Yes, sir. It's twelve twelve exactly. Touch something red. Easy Clap! Guys, change the title back to Best Gameplay on Twitch. Easy! Look at that crown on my head! Easy! From last to first, baby! Okay, you guys know the drill. First, non-sub the chat in stream gets a sub. New prediction, do you think I will get another first place today? Imagine. Okay, I gotta plug my laptop in. Am I 
cracked or what? Everything happens for a reason? You know, I don't know what I think about that. I'm indifferent about the phrase, everything happens for a reason. Because obviously some very bad things happen in your life that feel very unfair. Like, I guess the RNG of, like, being terminally ill... I don't... I don't like when I hear people try to twist that as a positive thing. Like, I'm glad that's how you cope, but it's still, like, objectively, like, a really sad thing. Or when, like, somebody does something bad against you, like, invalidates your rights or, like, touches you. That, to me, is, like, unjustifiable. I don't know, I'm very indifferent. Because I do think, like, your own actions very much shape your current standings. But there's also so many outlying factors. Like, where you grow up, your financial status, the people in your family. I think the main reason why people say everything happens for a reason is more so to justify, like, not doubting things. And it's also kind of forcing you to not dwell on your past. I feel like that's something people will tell themselves when they're trying to like cope or get by. Come on, get him! <laughs> Come on! Dude, second to six? Fuck this shit. I hate Mario Kart. <laughs> damn. Damn, damn, damn. Sorry, Kobo, but I don't know why I ragged on that phrase so hard. I'm not ragging you. It's just when I picture somebody saying everything happens for a reason, I picture like so bad. I picture like a light pink background, curly font, and then that's their post on Instagram and their caption is like talking about how like their boyfriend is like so like mean to them. But you know, like we'll get past it and everything happens for a reason. Heart. <laughs> that's what I picture when like people who like who like genuinely believe that shit. I think it's because like I will never look past someone's actions. Like to me, someone's actions are very important and very like reflective of the actual character. Like people can say whatever they want, but it's what they actually do is what defines them. Pinterest girlies, exactly! Oh, best rainbow road ever made. I love it. If I don't get first, I'm gonna be depressed. <laughs> but doubly depressed. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a multiplayer. Then why are these people so good? You. Oh my god. All the people are so good at sniping. Whenever I play this track and I re upload clips of me playing this track, I get a good handful of people being like, Why don't you trick on the track? Like, it's on this part coming here when, like, the wave li or the track, like, wiggles like this. It, for the longest time, it was too risky for me to trick because I didn't have good, like, handling control. So, whenever I would trick, I would just, like, veer off the edge. I've gotten better. But, it's not that I don't. <laughs> okay. 
I don't hate backseat gaming, but I just find it so much more annoying in like a comment section. Cause it's like, bro, I'm not playing the game anymore. You're commenting on a clip. It's like, I'm not gonna open Mario Kart and do the tip that you gave me. Granted, I do find backseat gaming annoying too. Whenever I'm on stream too. It's okay to say you're bad at Mario Kart? Okay. I'm decent. I'm in last place. The race isn't over yet. Don't worry, don't worry, it's not over. Guys, I said if I don't get first, I'm gonna be depressed. <laughs> wait, I can get a blue filter on, wait. Wait, let's see color source. Wait, 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 wait. Hold. Guys. I'm sad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Avatar? <laughs> Guys, Avatar mode engaged. <laughs> I think I can also just, like, color correct the camera layer. Let's see. I thought I couldn't control Z. Oh my god. <laughs> I did not want to do avatar mode all day. Hi, <laughs> Dio Mio. <laughs> saved. Talking about getting saved, um, you can save yourself by following the channel. Everybody, we... We are 30 minutes in the stream, so if we know here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Wait, I'm gonna do the skip? I'm cracked. Ooh, Colleen! Red Show literally hit nothing. The online seems so jank today. At least I'm top three. I feel good in top three. Can I do it again? Yes, sir! Dude, this might be the cleanest race all day. No way I lose. Okay, that, that was horrible. <laughs> seriously have to change the title now. Two first plays? That one, I held first for like a whole lap almost. Hey. 
Oh, wait, I'm the second highest rank in this lobby. Guys. Another first place? Yes, sir. Easy. Man, two crowns in one day? You know what it probably is? All the kids are in school. So all the little iPad kids, they aren't playing. From last to first? Exactly! I am the underdog. I think I'll do 30 more minutes of Mario Kart. We'll do one more prediction. Do you guys think I will get another first place within another 30 minutes? I technically have gotten two in an hour and a half, so my average is every 40 minutes. For today. My average last time I did this was I got a first place in three minutes. my character remind me I don't know how to phrase this without, like, sounding sus. I understand why people don't like being filmed. Like, how their security cameras, like, on most every street corner now on everybody's front doors. I understand why the surveillance state is bad, but I honestly don't care. It's- because, like, I'm not doing bad things. Like, the worst thing that, like, a fed would see me do is, like, scratch my ass or some shit. I do kind of think the people who are like hyper paranoid about the surveillance state, I feel like they're hiding something. That's my conspiracy. I do understand that surveillance state isn't necessary, but I can see how it can be helpful. But I do feel like they would be able to catch shit sooner. I don't know. Like anytime there's like some type of like domestic terrorist event, they're just like, oh, they were on our radar. It's like, you guys have all the tools in the world. Like, how have you not, like, caught them? Like, I don't get it. Anyway. Um, fans, if you're watching, this is all commentary. <laughs> my original, okay. My original, because I, I was thinking about this bit. Because, okay, sometimes when I'm on the bus, I kind of, like, RP in my head. I'm like, okay, if I were, like, a stand-up comedian, how would I word this story? And when I was initially drafting out that concept in my head, it was, like, a month ago on the bus, I was like, okay. Because I saw there was, like, a camera on the bus. <laughs> okay, I, I can't imagine, like, the wackiest things you see on, like, bus cameras, though. <laughs> but I was thinking, like... The worst they'll see me do is, like, pick my nose. But I was like, no, I should not say that. I don't do that anymore. Let's be honest, everybody picked their nose up until they were, like, 10. That's just the shit that kids do. But as an adult, if you still do that, then it's like, bruh. Come on. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, it's hard to- Because, like, shit is, like, funny in my head. But, like, once you try to, like, concept it out and work it out and word it, it's so- it's not funny anymore. That's why, like, I've considered, like, writing. Like, either script writing or, like, writing jokes and shit. 
But I feel like when you workshop a concept or a joke too much, it just isn't funny anymore. Because I think the glory of comedy is that it has to be, like, spontaneous and unexpected. Like, that's my favorite form of, like, stand-up. Because that, in, the, in that sense, then it's more like storytelling. Everybody picks their nose, they just lie. Okay, chatters, be honest. Did you guys pick your nose in the last week? Type 1. Be honest. I would have to say I'm doing pretty good. I don't do it anymore. One. <laughs> okay, another thing to be honest, I would never admit it. <laughs> One question mark? Oh my god. <laughs> How are you not sure? Okay, I remember this was years ago. But you know how when you're dating somebody and you get comfortable enough to like fart in front of them? Now. With the previous partner, we were past this point, okay? I did not pick my nose in front of them because I stopped years ago. But I admitted to them that when I was younger, I used to like eat my boogers. This was when Peason was like seven. Okay, I was seven in second grade. Everybody does it. And he told me he was so disgusted and he would think about it all the time. I wouldn't eat them? Oh no. Am I the weird one? Oh no. Oh no. Maybe that's why he broke up with me. I don't know. <laughs> Boosting the immune system? Exactly! See, you get it. I'm throwing. I'm actually throwing. Okay. Did y'all eat your scabs too? Maybe I was just fucking weird. Maybe- I think I was just lacking vitamins or something. Okay. I'd also like to clarify, I stopped doing that when I was like seven as well. Yes? <laughs> okay, me and Kobo War are on the same wavelength. That is good. Okay, also think about it when you're a little baby. Like, putting things in your mouth is how you like observe your environment. Maybe I just had like a baby brain. Up until it was seven. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's, that's, I don't like where this story time is going. I'm in last. At a certain point, you've got to not do that. I said I stopped when I was like seven. I don't do it now. Jeez. I should have never shared this on stream. I should have never shared it. <laughs> you know... Guys, the strat is you share your deepest, darkest secrets when you're a one viewer Andy. That way no bozo, no hate watcher is going to watch back your years of VODs. Why was he grossed out if he did it so long ago? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I feel like everybody does gross shit when they're little... Like, a friend of a friend. This is not somebody I knew. This was a, a friend of a friend. They told... They told my friend that they, like, ate their shit one time. And it's like, what? This is not Cult of the Lamb. What are you doing? Like, oh my god. <laughs> Dude, everybody does gross shit. What if I clip it for clout? I don't think I would clip chimp myself admitting that I ate my boogers up until I was seven. Guys, there, there are intentionally some things that I choose to not clip when I go back in and advance. I'm like, oh, that one's kind of not as funny, or maybe that one doesn't sound good out of context. <laughs> it's okay to say it was you. It was not me. I would never do that shit. I don't like scat, okay? It was not me. I'm being completely honest. It was not me. Wait 
him in first, guys. Clip it. Fuck! I looked. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ain't no way. I looked at chat. I saw the piece I do gasp and I giggled in my head. I've already had two first place. I'm greedy. The Mario Kart gods are angry at me. They're like, peace in underscore 17 cannot get another win. Okay, worst items. Worst. Literally worst. Okay, guys, I am really bad at lying. If a story is about me, then I would for sure crack. I would crack. What are the like subtle tells for lying? Is it when like they look to the side? I think that is one. I'm trying to think what else. Also, whenever I do lie, it's so hard to like not giggle. I don't know why. Like, giggling is one of my tells. Or I kind of smile. <laughs> That's what my sister does whenever she's lying. Because my sister, she's not very expressive. So when she's lying, she'll go like... Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Do a little smirk. <laughs> it's so funny. Because I'll be like, are you lying? And she's like, no. And she will just have like a bigger grin. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> The Debbie Ryan? Oh my god, that's literally it. <laughs> Fuck all y'all. I that part, I- uh, it's not worth it. was a boomerang. My issue whenever I do play with a pro controller is I notice I press the buttons down a bit too hard. And I don't know why. That's why, like, my turns aren't as tight because I'm breaking a bit too much. I really don't want to buy another Joy-Con. I could maybe just borrow my sister's because she, she doesn't really use her OLED. I've never fallen off there. Like, what? 
Okay. I'm a last. Sometimes when I play Mario Kart, I will glance at the map section and be like, <laughs> Look at that guy in those place, he's so far behind. And now I regret, like, bullying them. sad. Also, Twitch allows you to toggle the mod view to the previous layout. I noticed it this morning, and it's so much nicer. I hated the UI of the new mod view. Like, it, it unnecessarily, like, rounded out the corners. You had, like, less screen space. I mean, I feel like nobody cares, but it, it really bothered me when they changed it. <laughs> it's kind of similar to, like... When YouTube, it's UI changed the video thumbnails to rounded corners instead of straight edges. I still don't get why. I think subconsciously it's meant to make you feel like more chill and relaxed. Oh my god! Guys, I'm gonna first clip it. <laughs> Here we go again. First place and a boombox. <laughs> oh my god, I'm literally so duo. <laughs> Damn, if I just like stop and just shut the fuck up, I'll win. Still pretty good though. Damn. I have ten minutes. I can do it. Hmm. He's I too sad. Guys, I'm sad.
This is one of my better ones. I can for sure clutch. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna bet a million dollars. Something that I've come to realize the more time that I spend online and using social media is I feel this weird lack of empathy at times. And I definitely do think that social media kind of forces you to disassociate from people to some level. Like, it's not that I don't see people as people. It's just, I feel like if somebody does something kind of rude or bad, then I have so much less empathy for them. Because when you're talking to somebody in real life, you probably know a bit of their backstory, a bit of their background. You probably actually know what they sound like. You can hear the emotion behind their voice. But when I see somebody posting online, like, complaining about something, like, either having, like, a justified, like, Karen moment or something, I just feel so much... I don't feel anything for them. I don't know. And I think it's partially... I feel like it partially coincides since, like, I make content online. I do get, like, a good handful of negativity. So it does kind of force me to dehumanize people to an extent. Like, it makes me value people's opinions of me a little bit less. Because I know if somebody's rude online, then I understand that their opinion doesn't really matter. It's this weird dynamic. But then there's like also sometimes where I see like somebody going through a hard time and I have like, I feel like hyper empathetic. Like if I could, because I think one of the most sad things online is when you see like people starting GoFundMe for like funerals or like their medical bills that to me is a reflection of society right that's like this your government not providing for you guys second place fucking clutched i'll get first though next time like anytime i see a gofundme or like somebody with their cash app I'm like, i really want to help them but i know i can't like i'm the type of person who would need a gofundme for my brain surgery probably but i just i want to help and i feel bad that i can't I don't know. I probably have time for two more races, guys. I think the- it's the dynamic of, like, having the internet and access to, like, information does give you, like, a broader world view, and you do get to hear a lot more people's stories, but then it kind of also makes you become desensitized to, like, atrocities. I think that's, like, why the news cycle itself is kind of... Like, it eats away at you over time. So I understand why a lot of people aren't necessarily, like, politically aware about things. Because it, it can be draining. Fund my expensive undercut? Yeah, guys, can we get a sub goal for my surgery? Ah. I'm only gonna do the brain surgery, like, if my symptoms get really bad. Because anytime you do surgery, it can possibly be dangerous. Like, the like the risk of infection after any procedure is high. I, I would be too scared. Because, like, I'm not at a point where I'm bedridden. Like, there are some days where, like... It is hard to walk around or go up and down the stairs or like yesterday I was in bed up until like noon even though I woke up at 7 but I'm not at a point to where my symptoms are severe enough But also I was just like really sad yesterday so maybe I was just like depressed <laughs> Dude, okay. 
Back when I initially, like, went to my doctor about my symptoms, they were like, Oh, maybe you're just, like, overweight and obese. Maybe that's why you can't walk around for long periods of time. I could not wait until I go back to that doctor's office and laugh in that old bozo's face. Be like, no! Yes, I am mentally ill, but that's not why. I actually have a rare disease. Smile. Like, oh my god. Guys, girlies... <laughs> Don't ever worry about requesting a new doctor. Like, if somebody's invalidating you, just request a new one. There are plenty of doctors. Don't let one person ruin your, um, opinion of the medical field. Just get a new doctor. Because I promise you that you will find a provider who will listen to you, who will listen to your concerns. And I know it is hard to hear that Oh, just advocate for yourself, but truly, you need to fight for yourself. Because there's been studies <laughs> of like women and POC separately facing medical discrimination. Like, you know, the cliche, women be complaining. And, like, it was also, like, recently found out that um, menstrual products, whenever they did, like, clinical testing for new, like, pads or tampons, they would not use blood. Like, they would just use water. So, whenever, like, for example, like, if you said, oh, I have a heavy flow, but then your doctor's like, actually, no, you don't. You probably actually did. In, in the sense of, like, because the way they would do guidelines and shit, like, they would not- Oh my god, how did I miss that? <laughs> uh, the way they would do guidelines is like, if you're going through X amount of pads every day, then you're fine. But obviously, if you have any concerns, always go to your doctor, everybody. And if your doctor isn't taking your concerns seriously, then seek out a new one. Fuck you! Easy! The woman be shopping? I know! All they do is shop. <laughs> okay, not gonna lie. I do like shopping. <laughs> I think it's because, like, being able to shop and buy things for yourself to me is, like, one of the big parts of being independent. Like, being able to choose exactly what I want, being able to spend my time, like, genuinely picking what I want to buy, I like. Guys, look, another first. Easy. <laughs> I do like shopping. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, guys, did I get another first? Yes, sir. Dude, I'm cracked. I got three first plays today. I don't play for two weeks. I'm cracked. Let's get out of here. Wait, where's my crown? Guys, I lied. I, I, where's my crown? Let's get out of here. Let's play some Slime Rancher. But before we play that, everybody, if you're new here, follow the channel. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Also, it is time for me to run an ad. Because we are two hours into stream. So, if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe. You can subscribe... If you're a new tier one, you can get up to 25% off because it is September. You can also subscribe for free... If you like Amazon Prime to your Twitch, guys, click subscribe right now. See if you have a Prime sub or a discount available for you. Smile. How did I get so good at this game? I don't know. I'm just correct. I'm just a natural gamer. I'm just so good. Okay. I did get three first place. That is, like, unheard of. The last time that happened on stream was, like, six months ago.
Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick audio check. It's good! Sorry, there was a double there. Okay, I haven't played this game in... How long? <laughs> I think a month? Oopsie. <laughs> I'm gonna have to relearn the buttons again. Let's play the game. Last time we left off, I had just caught a Lumos slime. Today, I'm gonna try and catch every single slime in Slime Rancher. Okay. I have to remember what I gotta do. <laughs> um, I should flee feed my slimes. Oh, I think I want to upgrade to get a Plord Collector. I think I'm gonna go exploring. I need to get more resources so I can get more money. So I'm not a broke. -y. Just another day on the ranch, everybody. I'm just gonna focus on getting plorts. the buttons. There's no hens out. I wonder why. Usually there's always hens out here. Wait, I have. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is where the hens are.
There we go. I don't necessarily want to bring back chicks. I think I'll bring back chicks on the next run. And now I'm just focusing on getting lots. Because I don't want to be a brokey. Funny that we're literally selling their poop. <laughs> oh, now it's getting dangerous. Go. There's nothing else I can really harvest from here. I do wonder if I can ever upgrade my inventory space, because four is not nearly enough. Think pink lords are up? Or it says they're down, but I remember it being more than six. Or more than five. Not too shabby. Food collectors. I probably can. Let's see. Because vacuuming does get kind of tedious after a while, in my opinion. No, there is no auto collector. L. Time for now. Oh, 
Oh, they're so hungry. I always get sad looking at them. Oh, okay, they love stony hands. Am I enjoying this game? Yeah, it's pretty chill. It's not like too intense. Because I don't like games that are that feels like there's too much at stake. This is nice. And I do like games where you have to collect things. I definitely think I might fall off whenever I do collect majority of the actual slimes. But for now, I just want to see what else there is. Because- oh shit! I remember watching like people play this years ago when it initially came out, but I don't remember- I legit don't remember anything. I don't remember any of the lore, I don't remember any of the slimes. So it's kind of like, it's- almost everything is new for me. Pretty good haul. Oh, they're still hungry. I'm sorry. I'll get more hands tomorrow. I promise. I won't let you young and starve. say I don't have any more plots open yeah so I can't necessarily get more slams yet 1700 okay let's say what I can do here will vacuum up two types of plorts in a corral at, at regular intervals, depositing them into a storage tank, so long as space is available. Hmm. Okay, an auto feeder will drop food into the corral at regular intervals. Just remember to keep it stocked. That's kind of DUM in my opinion. I don't necessarily need the plork collector right now. I think I'm going to save my money. Until I can upgrade my base camp. I just gotta hope I don't get mugged. Okay, so I think on this mission, I don't necessarily need ports, I just wanna get food.
<laughs> that wasn't on purpose. There's no hands. Where'd they all go? Oh, okay. Let's get out of here. I'm walking in. Why are they angry? I literally didn't do anything. I've never seen that before. Slime key. Oh my god. Okay, this bridge is legit the scariest part of the whole game. And I remember this was a dead end. Don't fall off impossible difficulty. Yeah, I think the next time I go out, I'll go down here again. Because then hopefully I'll have enough money after I feed my slimes at home. To upgrade my ranch, that way I can have more pens. to me how they keep staring. They're like, please, we're so hungry. The food is right there. Father, please.
I think I only really need the auto feeder and then the auto floor collector whenever I have like probably like 10 slime types because then I bet it gets tedious to feed them all. This is why I don't think I could ever like retire and have a farm. It'd be too much like tedious work. I don't want to be doing the same thing every day. Like it'd be different if it was like a job, but if it were my life, I don't think I could do it. Easy, I got 2k. I assume all the expansions are gonna be the same price. So it's 2k? The grotto. The dark and gloomy cavern above the sea and a likely first chapter to that novel of hers. 1795. Oh wait, there's more kennels here. Oopsie. <laughs> The lab allows you to begin your career as an amateur unlicensed slime scientist. 10k? Bro. The overgrowth. The ranch's very own wild side. 1795. Okay. Since I didn't realize I had two more plots available, I'm gonna buy two. Or buy one. And then, because I like putting the food next to the slime. I feel like that makes the most sense. Let's build a corral. An air net. I think that's all I really need for now. Oh. I just realized since I'm gonna go in that new area, I might have a new slime type, so maybe... Rebind the corral was a mistake. Hopefully it's just a normal type. Now. The last time I went down here, I died. And I lost everything. My wife, my children, my livelihood. <laughs> but this time. Holy fuck! <laughs> this time. It won't happen again. <laughs> I think that's legit how I died last time. <laughs> I'm just so clueless. <laughs> okay, so to the right, or yeah, to the right is a dead end. so angry 
Oh my god, stop. I literally have done nothing. Besides trespass. And maybe steal. Onion. I wouldn't trust this onion, even less so than a normal onion. This is new. Oh. I haven't seen this guy. There is so much. Okay, so it looks like I've seen about half. Not bad. Now, I don't think I can progress until I get a jetpack here. Oh, I forgot I should save money for those upgrades, too. Okay. I think the only way forward is to go back. Slime. Diet meat. Finally, new slime. <laughs> the face on the boom slime. <laughs> He's like, what? to make it home without dying. Wait, how am I gonna get back home? Oh no. Because I think I fell down here. Oh no. Okay, there is an upper bed. Thank God. It's like, I don't want to have to die again. Yeah, that's the way I came in. I'm saved.
So I think that's as much as I can explore until I get the jetpack upgrade. So that will be my new mission. to know that the plorts, if it's in an area where slimes don't spawn, then it'll stay. I wonder if I leave food out in that spot, if it'll stay grounded. So now, I assume, since the incinerator had a picture of a red slime, wait. Okay, an ash trow allows you to collect the ash of incinerated food at its base, which is eaten exclusively by fire slimes. It's gross. So that does nothing? Okay. Well, I guess I did find this guy like, just on the ground. Says the diet is meat. Okay, so it can't. I'm gonna try chuck a chicken out here and see what happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. I'm gonna buy the Astro and see what that does. Okay, that was a waste. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess we just have an incinerator now. Nice. Well, these are boom slimes, not fire slimes, I guess. So. A boom floor. <laughs> Now I know the incinerator does not do anything. What are you doing out here, sir? Okay. 
Wait. Oh, shit. How did you guys get out, you little rascals? Guess we need to get y'all some high walls. We've never done this before. All I've done is take care of you, feed you, give you a roof over your head, and you still disrespect me. You guys are grounded. <laughs> well, at least you guys fed yourself. I don't gotta worry about making dinner. You realize when you escape, the moment the sun comes up, you'll die. I'm doing this to protect you from the outside world. I do is to protect you. I lost everything. I knew that was gonna happen because usually whenever I try to collect the rock plorts, I try to leave an extra space that way you can pick up the slimes as well. But I forgot. Guys. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm also really hot right now. Yo, guys, if you hear me, uh, type 31. I'm back, guys, I'm back. I didn't leave. <laughs> you know what? That could be a sign. <laughs> Thank you, Max. Okay. Anyway, my slimes. I lost all my ports. That was so much money. I lost so much money. You know what? I'm gonna take a break. No more ranching for me. Maybe I scolded my slimes too much. Get my foot to sleep. It's really distracting. Okay, everybody. I think we can wrap it up here for today. I know, shorter stream. I might stream tomorrow. If I stream this weekend, I will do another 9 to 5 stream. Either Saturday or Sunday. Depends if I have plans or not. I'm still thinking about it. Okay, so, you guys know the drill. It is calligraphy time, so if you donate to the channel, subscribe, or use your channel points, I will write your name. Any redeemers? I'm <laughs> 
always so scared. Whenever I turn the calligraphy camera on, there was one stream ages ago when I didn't connect one of my second cameras properly and it froze on a frame of like my hand and I was like <laughs> they're like what if it froze on like my foot <laughs> that is legit my biggest fear anyway calligraphy Yeah, Kimari with an eight month resub. You're so close to a sunflower badge. I think a sunflower is nine months. We're getting so many sunflower chatters. It's also kind of wild to think that I've been streaming for a little over two years now. It doesn't feel like it. Like, time seems to have flown by. In a good way. Mori for the eight months. I appreciate it. Thank you for the tier one. Bye. Now we will do channel point names. So if you're a brokey, use your channel points and I will write your name for free. Oh. I'm dropping everything. neon on camera. It's like a golden rod. Okay, we have one more name left. Last call, everybody. Last name. I think I'm gonna do a lavender purple. Ooh. 
last call. If you are my original name, I gotta do is use your channel points or donate to the channel. Last call. Okay, so I think we can wrap it up here for today. I would like to thank you all for watching. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you for hanging out today. Also, once again, I appreciate everybody's patience with my schedule. Hopefully, my sister will get a job and hopefully I'll feel better. We'll see. I had fun, dude. I still cannot believe I got first in Mario Kart three times. That is crazy. That is like unheard of. Should I grind for a pro? <laughs> imagine, imagine my stream title in Mario Kart whenever play is like grinding for pro. Dude, I would get so many sweats come in, see me play, and click off. <laughs> okay. Um, once again, thank you, Kimori, for their tier 1 resub today. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, I will see you guys. Maybe this weekend, if not, maybe Monday or Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. If you're in back, if you're back in school, honestly, L, finish your degree, finish your certificate, and get out. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye bye. Dude, my head hurts so much. I don't know what it is. It started like 20 minutes ago. Okay. Y'all ever have migraines and your head feels warm? The other day I had a migraine and like literally the left side of my head was warm. It was fucking weird. So I grabbed my sister and was like, hey sister, feel my head. And she's like, yeah, it's warm. There's no bumps though. I'm like, thank God. I don't know. Maybe I also have noticed since I've stopped donating plasma, because before I used to drink like two 40 ounce cups of water every day. Now I'm only drinking like one. So maybe I'm just like dehydrated. That That is most likely it. Because usually whenever you're like not eating enough calories or if you're dehydrated, that can affect so much more of your general health. Yeah, I just gotta get back to guzzling water all day, every day. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Wait, follow new YouTube video. New YouTube video. <laughs> Go watch it. Now that stream's over. It's okay to be single. Good, just chatting stream highlight. And if you aren't already, go follow me off on social media. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Go follow all three. Smile. A new YouTube video will be out tomorrow on the main channel. So make sure you're sub to youtube.com slash at peace in 17, guys. New upload at 9am tomorrow. Okay. Bye.